Okay, I want to show you a quick video on how to take out a Freelander One roof lining. I'm not actually going to take it out because I've already done it. It's all back in now. But I found a lot of the videos on YouTube showed it in, showed it out, and back in again. Didn't talk about in any way how to actually get it out. So I thought I'd cover it off now. So you need some tool bits. You need a, uh, what do you call it, trim tool for pulling out some of the plastic. You need a 13 mil socket, a 7 mil socket, Phillips screwdriver and a nine mil spanner. So first thing you want to do is re remove this plastic trim along the bottom of the uh, rear door. Six torque screws, two each end and one two in the middle and just pull it straight up and it will pop out. Next thing you need to do, we do need to get these quarter panel plastics out of here, but we need to take the bottom quarter panel out first. So these cargo net holsters, they just twist and pull out. Pull out the light, disconnect the wires. There's a Phillips screw in the top there. Disconnect the seat belt. And then you allow that to lift and pull out the panel. You don't need to remove this. There is a, once that's off, you'll see on the back of there, there's a bracing bar, black bracing bar, which has a close cross and screws into the side of the, the bodywork there. Undo that and it'll just drop down. You don't need to loosen that at that end. It's on a pivot. So just 13 mil, undo it, just let the arm drop. That will then give you easy access to the three legs which hang off the bottom of this panel which are held on with Phillips and then you can pull the panel out. With that bar in place, you risk breaking something trying to get it out. Fingers in behind here, so remove all the door trims. They just pull off, remove them, drop them down out of the way. Fingers in, pull it out. It's important to note to remember to pull that quarter panel towards the other side of the car. Not in towards, not that way, but directly towards you because the posts here go in this way if you put it at an angle it'll snap one off as i found so pull it out that way this rear door trim here doesn't come off i can work out a way of getting it off without removing all the plastics i certainly didn't want to do that so it's a little bit fiddly but it, it is possible so I repeat for the other side i say you need to undo the seat belts that's a t30 to get them out of the way you don't need to remove anything on the cargo nets they just held them with little plastic bolts plastic screws stud things with a like a steel nut on capillated nut on the other side pull out the light fitting when you're ready to pull the roof out use your trim tool to lever out these plastic things so get in behind there give it a little lever and they'll pop out with the door handles when you take off these end covers don't just pull it because you'll, you'll break the little lugs off just pull out the top pull out the bottom and then you get access and that is what i use my seven what size is it yeah seven mil socket to get them out when putting it back together these plates might turn so just make sure that the the shoulder is on the inside because that allows the clips to go back on nicely well you've got them off give them a clean the washing up bowl that's what i've done all the front visors are held on with torque screws there's two on the pivot end near the post and there's one holding the center in Pull down the centre light fitting, unplug it. Pull out the side trims. You don't need to take them right out. Just pull away from the shaft, from the from the bodywork. Just get in behind there. Let's say you need to pull the door seals out for all the doors. Pull it out. When you put it back in, make sure you get the button line back up for the seatbelt adjustment. It's not too difficult. Pull that out. Same for the front pillar post, pillar trims. Just give them a pull. Don't need to come right out. You can take them out if you want, but I didn't bother. And then once you're ready to actually lower the roof down, um, put your headrest down so you've got plenty of room. Get these down out of the way, there's plenty of room there. And take out your blanks there, your visors, handles, centers, door handles. And then there's two at the back as well. And then the thing will just drop out. Be quite careful because where the, um, where these pockets are just the other side it kind of wants to almost hinge and it's a very thin fiberglass board so just try and support it as you take it out and when i put it back in i use a small step ladder in the back of the car just to support the back of the roof as i sort it out the front uh i think that's about it so it's um i say it's thin fiberglass once you've got it off just rip off the old uh rip off the old material and then i use the stiff brush to um, to brush it all off you don't need a wire brush I mean I started off with just a dustpan brush and I ended up sort of using this 
And then just to give it a final, final clean up, I went over with a sort of small plastic brush like this, which I just rubbed over the whole thing just to get the, all the dust off. And then because I'm a type of guy who wants to make sure the job's done to its best rather than cutting corners, this is a bit I probably didn't let on. I actually took it to a trim company in Milton Keynes and he stuck it all on for me. I supplied him with the material, I supplied him with the glue and he just stuck it on for me. Didn't charge me a lot. Um, make sure you use full way stretch material to get it up inside all those pockets. He did have some other material there which he thought was better, but it didn't stretch, so he wasn't able to use it. So, like I say, four way stretch is, is quite important. Uh, don't think I missed anything. Hope you found this useful and uh, give us a like if you did. Thank you.